What's up guys? And welcome back to another episode of Hollow Knight Radiant Bosses. Today we will be doing Troopmaster Grim and Nightmare King Grim. So for Troopmaster Grim I'll be using Unbreakable Strength, Mark of Pride, Shaman Stone, Nailmaster's Glory and Soul Eater. Nailmaster's Glory is pretty good for uh, teleporting bosses, you know, sometimes before he teleports away you can do a dash slash if you're good. Soul Eater to get some extra soul. Do like spam spells with Shaman Stone, which also increases the strength of the spells. Mark of Pride to be able to reach him and parry more and unbreakable strength for more nail damage. So let's go. True Master Grim. On Radiant. When he spawns, you can do like you can get like two dream nails in to get some extra soul at the start. When this attack happens, just stay in one place and don't hit him. This just pog off him and hit him on the side. You can also do, do like shade soul during the spikes attack. Okay, when he goes in the air, just pog away above him and then the side slash. And when this attack happens, just jump above the fireball. Something special, but. Before he teleports away, you can do that, which I was not able to do. Double jump above this one. And yeah, that's all of his attacks. When he's staggered, use this to, to attack him for more damage. Yeah, if, you're, if you're like, if you feel really brave, you can like go below him and, and use uh, Abyss Streak. I don't recommend that, honestly. Ah, I was not able to. But sometimes it is possible. Alright, he's one he's one shot. Okay. And now he's dead. First try, let's go. That was right, that was Troop Master Grim. Now for the harder version for Nightmare King Grim. We will change our build a little bit. But not nothing too drastic. No, no, but not too drastically. But yeah, we'll change our build a little. So for Nightmare King Grim, I'll be using. Uh, I'll take off the Master's Glory. Um, I will take off Shaman Stone. Actually, I I will use Shaman Stone. Never mind. Wait. So for this one, Unbreakable Strength, Mark of Pride, Shaman Stone. Um, sprint master, because the spikes are way faster, so we so we need to move faster to yeah, to go to a safe spot. So yeah, that will help. And so eater, yeah. So basically, I one extra charm to our build. Okay. So Nightmare King Grim has the same attacks, except after every his after ev almost every of his attack. He leaves a trail of flames that will also damage you, so we need to be extra careful with that. And his bats have a share a different pattern, so just jump and then dash. That's all you need to do. And then, um, what else? All of his attacks are faster. And he has a one new attack with like flame pillars, so just wa move uh, one step at a time and, and hit him in between. So yeah. Let's do this. Nightmare King Grim. Oh god, I already messed up. Okay, never mind. I didn't. Yeah. Just go in the safe spot. Now, for this one, you need to pogo him and then double jump to avoid the trail of flames. Jump and dash. Okay. Pogo and side slash. Move one step at a time. Damage him in between. 
Go to a safe spot. Pogo double jump. You can do like a beast streak right here as well. Oh god, I almost got hit there. And now, be extra careful. Yeah, that didn't work. Okay, whatever. God, I can't hit him. Oh shit, he's already that low. Whatever. Oh god, that was super close. Holy crap. But yeah, that's, that's all of his attacks. Now we just need to survive. And win, of course. That would be great. I love winning. Don't know about you. Okay, that was great. That was actually freaking great. Okay, let's go. I actually pulled this off. And there we go! First try Nightworking Dream on Rayleigh. Yeah, I've done this boss many times, just like Pure Vessel. This is like... One of my favorite bosses, so I fought him a lot, so that's why I'm used to it. But you know, take your time, it's nothing... It's nothing shameful that you... If you take a lot of times. It's all about practice and beating the boss eventually. So don't worry. You will be able to do this eventually. But yeah. That's it for today's episode, and now there is only one boss left to do, which is Absolute Radiance. This will probably take me a very long time to beat, but I'll do it eventually. I guess I'll stream it, like, during the weekends or something, as why not. And whenever I beat Absolute Radiance on Radiant, I'll post it, of course, on my channel. So with that, thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this video, if you did, that would be nice if you subscribed, and I'll see you in the finale against Absolute Radiance. Thank you so much for being with me throughout this series, and have an amazing day, bye!